Hi, my name is Jovan and today you'll be learning how to add camera shake for filmmaking in Unreal Engine in the sequencer. Adding camera shake is one of the best ways to add a sense of realism to your shots. It's essentially the same principle across all softwares, it's just adding a randomly generated noise that can influence the curves on your camera. Now, in this video I'll show you how to do it in Unreal Engine and I'll have a video about how to do this in Blender and Maya coming up soon. To do this in Unreal Engine for virtual filmmaking, you need to be using the sequencer. I have a video in one of these corners on how to actually use and render out sequences using the sequencer, which you can check out after this. To do this, you need to create a new scene in Unreal Engine, go down to the content browser, right click and click blueprint class. Then press the drop down arrow saying all classes and type in camera shake. Some of these options are to be used in games, so for the sequencer, you need to select the one saying matinee camera shake. Rename this now to camera shake. Double click on it to open up the blueprint and then go to the right side of the screen. This is where you can adjust all the camera shake details. So for starters, make the oscillation duration the frame length of your scene. The oscillation is the amount of movement that's on your actual camera. You can then adjust all of the axes. So in rotation, you can do the yaw, the pitch, and the roll. You can click on each of these and adjust the amplitude, which is how much something moves, and the frequency, which is how often it moves. Change the waveform from sine wave to Perlian noise. This will allow you to actually have an actual randomized noise. Otherwise, it would just be a sine wave, which is just repeating curves, as opposed to actually randomly generated noise. You can then do the same steps for the location details. So change the amplitude for the amount that something moves and the frequency for how often it will move. To take a look at what you've done, press compile and then open your sequencer. Then place your camera inside your sequencer and go to the plus icon next to your Cineactor camera. Go down to the camera shake option and make sure that the cam shake blueprint class is selected. Make sure that it starts and finishes at the starting and end points of your sequence as seen here. When you press play, you'll be able to see what you've done, update in real time. You can then open up the blueprint again and make any adjustments and then press compile to save those changes. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.